Hello, I'm Angelina and welcome to my kitchen. Today I want to share a treat that we make at Christmas time and it comes from southern Italy. It's stuffed figs. How you prepare them is when you buy your dried figs in the package, I always take them out and give them a washing under lukewarm water and then I put them out to dry. So what I did to these was I washed them, let them dry, and then I took them and as they were whole, I just took the knife and I cut them in half, opening them up like so. So I have all these ready now and what I'm going to do is I am going to stuff each fig with toasted almonds. And what I did with my almonds was I prepared them by putting them in the oven at 250 degrees for about 20 minutes. I want them to be toasted because they're not going to cook inside of the figs. I like to put two almonds in. A lot of people just put one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these figs that I have opened up now and I am going to prepare them with two almonds inside each one. I've taken the figs and I have stuffed them with the almonds. You can see the task is really simple. You just take a fig that has been cut in half, you put in one almond and press it in like so, and then you take the other almond and turn it the other direction because almonds have a skinny side and a fat side. So rather than putting two fat sides beside them, flip them over so that you get it into a nice fit so that it's even. I'm going to sprinkle the figs now with cocoa powder that is unsweetened, just like a fryer's cocoa powder or any unsweetened cocoa. And I'm going to sprinkle this on all of them. And you don't have to worry about the cocoa being unsweetened because we're going to be putting uh, other ingredients that will sweeten up the figs. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle cinnamon on and just a sprinkle of cinnamon on all of them. Okay, so that's our cinnamon. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put dried lemon peel on them like this. Now don't worry if you get more on one and less on another. They will taste good no matter what. Some will have more of a lemony flavor on them. So that's that one. And the other thing that I'm going to put on them is tangerine peel. I had some fresh tangerines so I just uh, took my plane and I grated off the tangerine peel and this oh my goodness I can smell it. Mm. Oh this is going to give them such a nice flavor. Um, so if you don't have any dried lemon or, or orange peel or tangerine peel dried up, you can just take an orange or a lemon out of the, out of the refrigerator if you have some. And just uh, with your plane, if you have a plane, um, just scrape the peel off and then just put it on like this. We're going to give them all some sugar and this you don't want to have too much, you don't want to have too little. You Remember we put the um, cocoa powder that is not sweetened on it, so this is what's going to sweeten up the cocoa powder. Plus uh, the figs are sweet, you know, so you're okay. So just, that's it. You can see the sugar because the figs are dark from the cinnamon and from the cocoa powder. So uh, you can see where you put it. Okay, I think we've got all the sugar. Now the final and what makes these is 
we are going to spray them with Kahlua, which is a chocolate liqueur. And this will give them ugh, the best flavor. So we're going to do this. And after they're, that is done, we will close them up. So I'm just going to give them a nice spraying. Hmm, you should smell this fragrance coming off. The cocoa, the cinnamon, the um, lemon peel, the orange peel. Hmm, oh my goodness, that smells so good. So what happens with these now is I'm going to take them and I am going to seal them up like that. So everything is going to be nice and closed in. Okay, so we took, took this fig that's got all the seasoning on it. We're just going to close it up and we're going to bring all the edges together and we're going to seal all that flavor inside the fig. And after that is done, we are going to put them in the oven at 250 degrees and they have to be watched after about uh, ooh, 10 minutes you should be keeping an eye on them uh, so they don't burn but you want them to have a nice little uh, golden color so all the flavors are going to be baked into the fig and uh, just seal them up if your edges just bring them together okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish sealing them up now and then I will show you the next step I've taken the figs and I've closed them all up so they're ready now to go into the oven so um, as I said just take them and press them and they're ready what I've also done is I have prepared a cookie sheet and I have put in parchment paper. Not that it's necessary, but I'm too lazy and I don't like to have to scrub the pan after uh, the figs are all cooked. So if you use the parchment paper, it saves uh, time afterwards. So just take your figs and put them on the cookie sheet like so okay so we're just going to line them up on here I finished putting them all on the cookie sheet and I preheated my oven to 250 degrees and we're going to put these into the oven and for the first 10 minutes you don't have to worry about them because it takes about 10 minutes for them to get nice and and warm and start cooking but after about the 10 minute mark you have to keep an eye on them and what I usually do is I'll go in every four or five minutes I'll give them a look and if they start to look like they are starting to brown I'll take a couple and turn them over because they are against the metal the bottom will start to brown first so we're going to do a, a turning of all the figs over so that the other side will get a nice little brown covering on them. So let's go cook them. Our figs baked and as you can see they've gotten really golden. What I've done now is I've prepared a container with foil wrap and what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray some of the Kahlua liqueur into it and I am going to press the figs into the bottom of the container all the way around Then 
once I have got a nice layer in there, I will take and I will spray them again. And I will then take some of the dried orange peel and I will sprinkle it over top. And I will put another layer. into the container here. So now that we've done that, they're still hot from the oven. I'm going to take them and I'm going to close them up with the foil wrap like this. And I'm going to press them down so that we have our Calabria Fikiribieni ready to enjoy. I'm going to try one even though they're not really ready and it's still hot. Mmm. Mm. When these cool down and they've taken all of the, the cure and the flavors in, they'll be amazing to enjoy. So, try stuffed figs for Christmas or you can do them any time of the year anytime you have dried figs available to you you can just buy them and prepare them like this and it's a natural candy so good I hope you enjoyed this presentation please subscribe and try this recipe and let me know how you like it thanks for watching